What's going on guys, John Alvin here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at assignment operators in JavaScript. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at assignment operators in JavaScript. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership to all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we looked at basic math in JavaScript. If you didn't see that, check the playlist. In this video, we want to look at assignment operators. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this JavaScript series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file. It's basically the file we were working on yesterday. I've just renamed it assign.html. And assignment operators are super important in JavaScript. They're important in every programming language, and they do exactly what they sound like they should do. They assign something. So uh, in this case, in our last video, we had this number 10. We assigned it to this variable using this assignment operator, which is an equal to sign. So your equal to sign, we've been using this for all of these videos pretty much so far without even really thinking about it. It's the main assignment operator, but there are lots of other ones too. So uh, the other ones are just as important as the equal to sign, and we're going to talk about them in this video. So like I said, anytime you put something in a variable, a variable is basically a box, a bucket that holds things. You are assigning it to that variable. And here we have, you know, a number. You could just as easily say, you know, my name equals John. And again, we have now assigned this string using this assignment operator into this variable, my name, right? So very simple concept, very easy to understand, not much to it. But like I said, there are other assignment operators and they are pretty important. You'll use them all the time as we'll see going forward. So basically we could take all these arithmetic operators, these math operators from our last video and turn them into assignment operators by just slapping an equal to sign on them. So plus equals, minus equals, multiplication equals, division equals, exponents equals, and I suppose modulus equals. I'm not sure exactly why you would wanna do that. And this allows us to do math quickly. So what we could do here is, let's say we wanted to add 10 to this. We could say my num1 equals my num1 plus five. And if we came down here and then printed out my num1, you would expect if we save this, come back over here and hit reload, boom, we get 15. Well, that's not really all that elegant. Let's comment this out. What we can do is go my num1, plus equals five. Now this will add and assign. So now my num1 becomes 15, much more elegantly written than this whole big long line of code right there. And we're programmers, we're lazy, we don't like to write extra code anytime we don't have to. So here we have these numeric assignment operators. So here we come back over here, hit reload, again it's 15. Now, why is this important? Well, let's look at this. Let's comment this out real quick. Now let's say we just wanted to come down here and say, my num1 plus five, right? We could do that. If we save this, head back over here and hit reload, again, we still get 15 and that's cool. But if we wanted to then use this variable later on, what would it be? So here, let's write to the screen. And we haven't looked at this little thing yet, but it basically just allows us to write to the screen. We can go document.write and then pass in anything we want. So we want my num1. And don't forget your semicolon because this is JavaScript and it's crazy. It needs semicolons at the end of every line. So if we save this, now what do you think this is going to be? If we come back over here, well, it's 15 here and 10 here. How come? Why is that? Well, if you come back over here, originally our variable, my num1, is 10. Down here, we added 5 to 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15. But then later on, if we print out this variable again, it's still 10. We haven't actually changed the variable we just kind of added five and printed that to the screen. If we wanted to, you know, use 15 as my num1 going forward, you wouldn't do it like this. Instead, you would, of course, use this operator, this assignment operator plus equals. Now this will add it and assign it back. So from now on, anytime you use my num1, it's gonna be 15. And we can confirm this by saving this. We print it out here and here. If we come down here and hit reload, it's going to be 15 now both times because my num1 has been assigned 15, 10 plus 5, and then it gets assigned back in. So really, that's all there is to it. It's very easy, but you'll use this for all sorts of things, especially when you're like looping around. It's great for counters. It's like every time you do a loop, you want to add one so you can keep track of where you are in the loop. You'll use 
plus equals, you know, plus equals one, for instance, and, and just that easy. So plus equals, we have, of course, minus equal. If we save this, head back over here, you would expect this is going to be 10 minus five or five. Uh, we can do multiplication equals. That's going to be 10 times five. Head back over here, sure enough, 50, 50. I'm back over here. Of course, we could do division equals. Again, this will be two. We could do, of course, exponents, 10 to the fifth power. That is going to be a giant number. Giant, I tell you. What is it going to be? Well, not so giant, I guess. What is that? One, two, three, 100,000. 10 to the fifth power is only 100,000. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. It's hard to say times 10 times 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. That's 10 is 1,000. 10,000. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, modulus. This one's kind of weird, right? So what's this going to be? Well, 10 divided by 5 is 2 with no remainder. So my num should be 0, I suppose, right? And 0. Uh, we could mix it up a little bit and change this to 11. So now it's going to be 11 divided by 5 is 2 with 1 left over. So that will assign it back in. And this should be 1. Eh, there you go. It might be useful. It's just that easy. So those are assignment operators, super useful. Not much to it, not much to wrap your brain around here. Uh, plus, minus, multiplication, division, and exponents, and modulus. And of course, don't forget the original assignment operator, the equal to sign, not to be confused with the double equal to sign that we'll look at probably in the next video. It's a whole different thing. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com. We can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.